Imagine a world without water. The daily activities that many of us take for granted, using the bathroom, brushing your teeth, making a cup of tea or coffee for breakfast, washing the laundry, would not be possible if there was no water. Whether we turn on the faucet in the kitchen, collect water from the nearest standpipe, or head down to the river to bathe, we need to be mindful of how we are using this precious resource. Did you know that only 1% of the Earth's water is available to support the over 7 billion people living on it? And that population is growing, while water is diminishing. In the next 10 years, an estimated 3.4 billion people will face water scarcity. Think about what happens if water is cut off for one day, then imagine if there was no water for several days, or several weeks. This could happen. The effects of a changing climate are evident in our small island nations. Increased temperatures, changes in rainfall patterns, and sea level rise may mean a reduction in the amount of fresh water available for our use. Kariaku, for example, depends primarily on rainwater harvesting. During a long dry season in 2010, over 300,000 gallons of water had to be barged across to the island. At the other extreme are periods of intense rainfall during the wet season. In Trinidad, during November 2014, a combination of unusually heavy rainfall and storm surge inundated the manzanilla Mayero area, causing much damage to roads, homes, and agricultural plots. Regional experts agree that the science points towards the climate continuing to change. Water resources will likely be affected in one way or another. Some islands are projected to experience decreases in precipitation, while others may see increases. Decreased rainfall will reduce surface and groundwater supplies. Heavy rainfall events could lead to flooding and landslides, which can reduce water quality and cause damage to water distribution systems. So what can we do to protect our precious limited resources? The project Water Access is a regional initiative that will contribute to the improvement of water management and climate change adaptation of Caribbean states. Find out more by visiting our website at www.water-axis.org.